I was drafted in the sixth round, looked past by a bunch of different teams. I know that hard work gives me the best opportunity. When I was here in 1999 as a quarterback, I had no idea I would be back calling the Browns game, so it's a surreal experience. There is nothing in the world like being in big games. What you will call on is the time spent here. When you can't even hear yourself think, will be this time, these days. That's what this is all about. This is a wonderful opportunity that God has blessed me with, and I don't take it for granted. I was drafted in the sixth round, looked past by a bunch of different teams, a bunch of different players drafted in front of me. I have an opportunity to show those people that they chose wrong, but as well as to show myself each and every time I step on the field. That this is why I do it, and this is why I'm here. Good. I saw the deer hunting cameras up here. I didn't know they were hunting you. <laughs> it's just so quiet around here this early, you know. It's just us. He beats me in every day by a few minutes, so as far as I know, he's the first guy in the building next to security. <laughs> Come in early, leave late. That's just something that's kind of been conditioned in me. Um, I've always been a hard worker, having to overcome different situations. Um, I know that hard work gives me the best opportunity to do so. He trains very hard. He's one of the hardest training guys I've worked with, and he likes to train hard all the time. I enjoy uh, working out with Dale. Um, he pushes me, I push him. Some days he has to tell me back. Um, I mean, the name of this game is, of course, going out there and make plays, but you have to be able to be available. And that's body maintenance, taking care of your body, getting stronger this time of year so you can withstand a full season and go out there and compete at a high level. Ever since we started training together, we, we train some some form or fashion every day. Whether it's the mobility stuff you saw him doing, there you go, I'm tired. The uh, mobility stuff you saw us doing, upper body, total body, or legs, kind of just depends on where we're at in his training on the field. The main thing is, as much as we're working out, stay flexible and being able to, to still move uh, fluently throughout your motion. Appreciate you. Training camp has been fun. It's always exciting to get back and see guys compete and um, the opportunity that we have here in Cleveland is a great one. We have a bunch of talented players here and on paper you would look at us and say we're definitely talented and we're supposed to do things but training camp is, is, is where you start to make that come into reality so I'm just pounding away each and every day uh, looking to get better individually and as a team. When I be sleeping my mood is changing this season I'm gonna be tweaking Appreciate you. All right, baby. We'll see you out there. All right. Y'all with your eyes, Kai? Good shot, good shot.
Of course, as the quarterback, you, you're all the leader. Um, uh, but there's different ways to lead, and I think I've always been a lead by example uh, type of guy. But um, in my case, I have to be more vocal at times, and uh, I've welcomed that role. Once we get around the back, he's a no man's land. He's trying to play the shallow there because that's underneath us. Yeah. So get your eyes around so I can put that on you. That's like a back to his head throw, yeah? All right. That's what I was just talking about yesterday, just a quick thing. And if, and if coach don't like it, and coach don't like it, we can talk about it. And then, you know what I'm saying, if it, if it looks good or fair, we can coach off of that, then that's part of the, part of the package there. That one the exact same time, because the safety's going to be in. Keep doing that. Yeah, he can't push in that far yeah. on, a, on a main gate. Get into it! Get into it! That's perfect, bitch! Come on, bro. They might not be script reading, because we just changed that play this morning. <laughs> When you're the leader of the football team, guys look to you in different circumstances to, to respond and as well as to lead them because ultimately um, they're going to move as you move. So you have to create that energy and that attitude and uh, let it flow amongst the, your teammates. You was angling this way, you'll see it, just keep it straight. Like, I mean, I put it the way y'all are running, like, you really, I can't put it over top because there's two safeties right there. So, like, it's going to have to be something where you have to front up. All right. All right. My bad, bro. You good? Every day we got to get a little bit better. Did we get better at something though today, did we? Yes. Yeah. I want more out of you because I know there's more in there. I, I know what's in this team. Tyrod, come up here and break this group down. Bring it up, fellas. Keep fighting, keep competing, baby. Bring your A game each and every day. Family on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Inzel's pretty quiet. But once you get to know him, you you know there's a fire inside of him. You've been a winner all your life, but that ain't gonna change. Just glad to be going through and having this opportunity to be able to uh, be here with the Cleveland Browns and help this team win.